Hey guys, it's Riley from PectusPT.com and in this video today I want to talk about a condition called Pectus Excavatum and how you can improve it through exercise. I was born with Pectus and I want to show you how I managed to improve my body. So firstly, for those of you who don't know, Pectus Excavatum is a condition where the chest wall caves in resulting in a hole in the middle of the chest and consequently ribs that flare out. Having Pectus can be extremely detrimental to an individual's self-confidence and body image. So I was born with pectus and it had a massive negative impact on my life. In early years I was ashamed of my body and terrified to take off my shirt. So I joined a gym with the ambition of improving my body and reducing the visual extent of my pectus condition. I wanted to build up size in my chest, stretch the chest wall out and reduce the pot belly and rib flare associated with the condition. After years of ineffective isolation training and eating whatever I wanted, I was not getting the results I was after. That is when I decided to commit myself wholly to the process and improve my body and the condition once and for all. I began to do a lot of research and discovered heaps about nutrition and exercise. After I started seeing some results, I fell in love with the lifestyle of working out consistently and eating healthy. That is when I decided to pursue it as a career and I became a personal trainer. I also got signed by a modeling agency and I now do topless modeling gigs. So that's just a little bit about me and now I want to educate you on how I did this and how you can do it. So how can exercise improve the body of someone with pectus? Well, firstly, a typical person with pectus has tight chest muscles, poor upper body strength and bad posture. Exercise can correct all of these problems. I believe that performing specific exercises with strict form, mind muscle connection and manipulated breathing can actually stretch your sternum out and pull your rib cage in which will reduce the extent of your pectus condition. There are some specific exercises that are extra beneficial for improving the body of someone with pectus for their ability to stretch the chest wall, build muscle in target areas such as the inner chest and also correct posture. Four of the most effective exercises for improving pectus include the dumbbell pullover, the decline dumbbell press, the close grip dumbbell press and also the ab rollout. I'm now going to show you clips of me performing these exercises and explain their benefits. In this clip here, you can see me performing the dumbbell pullover, which is my top exercise for pectus. It is extremely effective as it provides a great stretch for the sternum and chest muscles, which will eventually reduce the magnitude of your indent. Additionally, this exercise will help work your posture. When performing it, you should switch your core on and try and squeeze your rib cage tight to help build your core strength and reduce the pot belly and rib flare associated with the condition. Furthermore, if you focus on squeezing your chest throughout the movement, you can put a large stimulus on the inner chest muscles and developing these muscles is key to reducing the extent of pectus. As you can see in the video, uh, there is a lot of strain and stimulus and tension on my chest and around the pectus hole. Now in this clip, you can see me performing the decline dumbbell press. This is beneficial as it works the entire chest with a target on the lower pecs. If you manipulate the movement whereby you focus on squeezing the weights together at the top, you should be able to place a large amount of stimulus on the chest region that surrounds the pectus hole. Building this area is critical for improving your body. Additionally, the decline position enables you to get a good stretch on your core and also a great range of motion during the movement to stretch your chest at the same time. This is a great exercise. Now you can see me performing the close grip dumbbell press. This exercise is great as it primarily builds the inner chest. You can see in this clip the amount of constant tension that is placing on my inner chest in and around the pectus hole. This tension will cause muscle growth if I fill my body with correct nutrients. You may notice in these three exercises I have shown you that they all involve a dumbbell. This is because I primarily like dumbbell movements as I can really focus on squeezing the weights at the top and filling my chest with blood. This being said, you should not neglect barbell movements as it is important to have variety in your routine. I'm just showing you some of my favourite exercises, but I most certainly still perform other exercises that don't involve a dumbbell. Alright, and in this final clip you can see me performing the ab rollout. This can be done either from the ground or from an elevated platform like a bench. For me, I like to perform it from a bench as it enables me to get a greater stretch and I feel the burn more in my abs. This exercise is extremely beneficial for a number of reasons. Firstly, when you stretch the roller out, you are stretching your entire chest out and you are also helping improve your posture and core strength. While performing this exercise, you should breathe out as you roll out. This will place extra tension and pressure on your chest wall and will further emphasize the stretch and best improve your condition. 
You've heard me mention a few times now that exercise can correct your posture which will reduce the extent of your pectus condition. Why is this? Because common postural problems associated with pectus such as rounded shoulders uh, actually accentuate the visual extent of your condition. As you can see here, if my shoulders round forward, which is very common with some of the pectus, my condition is very noticeable and looks a lot worse. But then if I have good posture, it looks completely so much better. Another reason why stretching is very beneficial is because typically pectus sufferers have really tight chest muscles, which further accentuates the bad posture and rounded shoulders, but it also reduces the strength that we can get in our chest because tight chest muscles reduces the range of motion we get in our chest movements, which reduces the stimulus that we can put in our chest, which will hinder the muscle growth that we can get and the muscle size, which will best mask the condition. There are a range of stretches that are very beneficial for pectus. In my next clip, I'll show you two of my favorite stretches. In this clip, I'm performing the Cobra stretch. This stretches primarily the chest and abdominals and helps improve common postural problems such as rounded forward shoulders. This next stretch you can see me performing is also extremely effective for stretching the chest out and improving posture. I recommend performing these stretches daily. Try hold the stretch for several seconds and repeat multiple times. So considering posture has a big impact on the pectus condition, it is important to, in daily life, think about your posture and mentally be aware of the way you're standing, sitting, and try and always have your shoulders back and chest out. So the advice I'm giving is just from my personal experimentation, what worked for me, and also from being a qualified personal trainer. Pectus excavatum varies in its degree of severity, so I highly recommend consulting your doctor to make sure exercise is safe for you, because some people with a more severe case, it may be unsafe and dangerous to perform certain exercises. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are feeling motivated, you're ready to transform your body and conquer the pectus condition once and for all, well the good news is I offer an online coaching service. In this service, I'll customize a workout routine, stretching routine and nutrition guide specifically for you so that you can transform your body as fast and effectively as possible. Just go to pectuspt.com or click the link above and apply now. Additionally, if you really liked this video and it was very helpful for you, could you please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if it was extra beneficial, give it a share. Get the video around so I can help as many people as possible.